Continuing on the custom car review streak, we're going to be talking about a STR Vidal EZA, and it's coming in from Donald. But before I go ahead and read the message inside the email for Donald, of course, as well as the STR Vidal EZA, send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card in the near future. I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. We are on June 6th of this year. Man, this has been a long time, like a coming it's we're finally making it to like closer months like wow like th this card was sent june 6th and we are currently in september of 2024 so we're just about a couple months behind so we're catching up we really are and i'm actually wow <laughs> never thought that i'd go back to custom cards and start like a daily custom card review to catch up on all these older custom cards but hey here we are now so with that being said, uh, Donald says, uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Day just started for me, and I am having a wonderful day. Likewise, Donald. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see what his STR Vidal EZA is looking like. Um, so, for STR Vidal, right? She gets her EZA last month of this year, obviously. Uh, I'm going to go off of assumption and say that his concept EZA is better than the Vanilla Dokkan EZA for STR Vidal. Um, because all Vidal really has to her name is Dodge. Like, she has the and Vanilla Dokkan, of course. Her Vanilla Dokkan EZA. She has the 70% chance to dodge before she attacks right over here. She also has a bunch of additional super attacks built into her, as well as guaranteed supers built into her. Because she does also get the additional super attack chance after she receives an attack. She also does a guarantee super while doing a feather thing assault types as the first or second attacker in a turn. Um, and yeah, that, that's particularly it. And of course, she still has that 70% chance to dodge as the third attacker in a turn. Um, and she also gets stronger for each dodge she does. She just, she just has to dodge two times. Yeah. So uh, we're just going to go off on a whim and say that um, Videl is, uh, for her concept, uh, EZA is most likely better than the Vanilla Dokkan EZA. <laughs> now, STR Videl EZA, as you we are looking at here. Am I blocking anything? No, I'm not. Okay. So leader skill is Ju Defenders of Justice or Pepe Gals. Four key in one, 80% across the board. Uh, what is it looking like for the Vanilla EZA? It's, wow, it's just about the same thing. Wow, he hit that nail on the head. Wow, just, just about. And her super attack effect, she greatly stacks attack and gains 30% defense for one turn while doing immense damage to the enemy and uh, getting a 35% chance to crit for one turn. Interesting because uh, for her vanilla Dokkan super attack effect, her regular one, of course, she just regularly stacking attack and gaining 50% defense one turn and not having that additional crit chance. But she doesn't really need that crit chance. Because she's already doing a guaranteed crit after she dodges anyway. So, you know, what would be the point of doing that for uh, the Vanilla Dokkan part of her card? Okay. But um, anyways, her unit super attack uh, effect. She massively stacks attack. It's a 100% attack stack. Just to put that out there. And she regularly stacks defense. Okay. While doing immense damage to the enemy. Greatly lowering their defense and still having a 35% chance to crit for one turn. Excuse me. Okay. Um, I would easily have to say uh, her super attack effects for her concept EZA are like far superior to Vanilla Dokkan's uh, EZA for SCR Videl. Because the concept EZA is massively stacking attack. And regularly stacking defense while she's only gaining a 50% defensive buff for one turn for both her regular super attack effect and her unit super attack effect. While regularly just stacking defense inside her regular super attack effect and greatly stacking attack. Well, excuse me, regular stacking attack, excuse me. While uh, regularly stacking, uh, well, greatly stacking attack, excuse me, oh my god. Greatly stacking attack for the unit super attack effect as well as regularly stacking attack inside the base super attack effect. So, yeah, I mean, let's just be honest, yeah. The super attack effects are better. <laughs> Leaving that in the video, by the way. We're not cutting that out. And, of course, uh, for the Gohan team, Ultimate Gohan, blah, 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 on the team. Okay, so our passive. She gets two key and 158% attack and defense at the start of turn. And she gets 
50% damage reduction, as well as a 50% chance to dodge before attacking. Okay. That is good. I'd probably say that's that's better than Videl's 70% chance to dodge, just base. Because she has not only a 50% chance to dodge, but she also has 50% damage reduction to fall back on too. Yeah, I probably said it's pretty good. Let's let's continue reading to see what else she has. So she gets an additional 58% attack and defense and a 70% chance to dodge, as well as launching an additional attack as a 50% chance to come to super attack when attacking. Okay, so after she attacks, she has additional super attack chance, a 70% chance to dodge, and an additional 58% attack and defense. Okay, that's very nice and she gets two key and she's a feather against all types within the same turn after receiving an attack okay and she gets an additional two key and 58 percent attack and defense within the same turn after receiving an attack or dodging two or more attacks so she just has to take one attack or dodge twice to get that key and attack and defense okay very easy and manageable to get off and she launches a guarantee super as the first or second attacker in a turn makes sense and she gets an additional 58% attack and defense as the third attacker in a turn. Okay, but she doesn't get the... She doesn't get that 70% chance to dodge inside the third slot like the Vanilla Dokkan EZA does. Right? Yeah. Because she has it right there. Yeah. I'd, I'd say that's probably one thing that's lacking from this concept EZA. And she also has a guaranteed dodge for one turn. And 25% damage reduction <laughs> after performing the active skill. Is there more? Okay, yeah, this is the active skill. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Is that 25% damage reduction just. You know. The guaranteed dodge is for that one turn only. And then she gets that 25% damage reduction after performing the active skill. So she just gets a free 25% damage reduction for the rest of the battle because it does say once only. Okay, um, I'd probably say the only thing this concept EZA is missing is that 70% chance to dodge, or maybe if you just drop the 50% chance to dodge as you third attacker in a turn, that's the probably the only thing that this card is missing, but even then, uh, no, it doesn't matter, no, it doesn't matter at all, no, this, this concept EZA doesn't need this because, it doesn't need it because uh, after she supers, she already gets that 70% chance to dodge regardless, and it's right over here. Yeah, she gets it regardless. So it doesn't matter if she gets that 70% chance to dodge the third attack in a turn. Yeah, that don't matter. Wow, and she gets a lot of stats just from just from dodging and also attacking. Yeah, because she gets this uh, additional attack and defensive buff when she's attacking. She also gets this additional key and attack and defensive buff as well as taking, a, taking an attack as well as dodging twice. And she also gets, what else? She also builds up 10% attack and defense in each attack form up to 58%. I completely overlooked that. As well as uh, this additional 5% chance to dodge within the same turn each super attack performed. Wow, I completely overlooked this entire part of her kit. Wow, okay. I'd probably say, yeah. Uh, yeah, the concept EZA is definitely better than the Vanilla Dokkan EZA. Yeah, I would I would absolutely say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, this this active skill being able to, to get that guaranteed dodge one turn and that damage reduction for the rest of the battle is huge because she if if she pops that active skill and she gets that guaranteed dodge within that first turn, obviously very strong. And then she moves on over to the next turn and she has that additional twenty five percent damage reduction for the rest of the battle because it does say once only. And uh, you guys already know she gets that fifty percent damage reduction as well as the fifty percent chance to dodge before she attacks, so that 25% damage reduction on top of that already, 50% damage reduction, that's 75% damage reduction with a 50% chance to dodge, post-active skill. With her adding on to the fact that she's already massively stacking attack and regularly stacking defense in a unit super attack pick, which is obviously very strong, and she's greatly stacking attack, she's gonna be hitting like a bomb, like a, a, a actual nuclear missile, literally. Uh, she already has crit chance in both of her super attack effects from her unit super attack effect to her base super attack effect. She, like I've already said, get, can get up to 75% damage reduction as well as a 50% chance to dodge before she's attacking. And then of course, post attack, she has that 25% damage reduction. She very easily uh, is going to be looking 
completely fine post super because she gets 58 percent attack and defense was a 70 percent chance to dodge additional super attack chance uh what else if you don't if she doesn't crit for whatever reason on her both her super attack effects she does have the effect of being all types after she dodges which is going to be uh, i mean that's should be you should be able to get that off right that's just from that 50 percent chance to dodge pre-super and of course so uh, if she does take an attack as well as evading two attacks she has that easy key attack and defense i would easily have to say that the concept easy is just better just off of the fact that she does have damage reduction damage reduction and dodge chance and then post super she has a 70 percent chance to dodge that's i would probably have to say that and an active skill she gets the like the reward she gets for using her active skill is very good guaranteed dodge for one turn that is a reason why nap and vegeta was highly praised back then is because of their powerful active skill of having that guaranteed dodge for one turn absolutely um and then the active skill 20 percent attack and minus 20 percent defense for uh in the battle uh of course makes sense i mean uh, they pretty much copied from the uh from dokkan <laughs> for the, the vanilla dokkan card uh, of course can be activated when uh there is a go on team ultimate gohan or great saiyan man on the team and then starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle so notes one the crit chance on super attacks stacks similar to the six year lrs she gets a 70 percent chance to crit after the second super in the turn and a guaranteed crit after the third okay so her crit chance does stack from both her unit super attack all the way to her base super attack effect she gets that guaranteed dodge so of course that dodge chances from her passive are uh, uh additive additive <laughs> additive i think i said that right okay uh she can launch up to four supers in one turn and she goes to get a 90 percent chance to dodge after attacking because she just built up that dodge chance within the same turn uh where each super attack performed uh, i completely butchered that word additive oh my god after attacking uh i revised the, this custom card a little bit on june 13th of the 2024 when i made this custom uh, unit on uh what's that no it's not june that's that's july 13th of 2024 and then he uh, made this unit on june 6th of 2024 yeah, that's July 13th. Oh my god, completely. Oof. I didn't know that the passive dodge chances are additive. I accidentally made it so when she was fully built up, she could get a guaranteed dodge before attacking and in the slot three. If you want, you can look up the version history of this dock to look at the old passive and see how busted it was. LOL. <laughs> I think she's already pretty good at this. Um, as for looking up how busted the pre <laughs> the pre-creation of this card was and nah we're just gonna keep it at that um w card uh, i would say if the first version of this eza was completely busted um i can't even imagine what it looked like compared to the vanilla dokkan eza definitely is better than the, the vanilla dokkan eza for sure but yeah, uh, send me custom cards over to VHF custom cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card in the near future. I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. W card. W card. I think Donald. I think that was the person I sent this card. W card. But yeah, uh, <laughs> is there any critiques I'd get to this card? Probably not. This card has strong super attack effects, uh, has enough stats built into her kit, like stats, stats. Um, where else? Stats. Stats. Uh, no, that's, that's the third attack on the turn, excuse me. Overlook that. <laughs> um, stats right over here. Of course, able to gain. Stats here, building up dodge chance, guaranteed dodge for one turn only, damage reduction, damage reduction, dodge, dodge build up, all that. Strong. Overall strong card. Um, I would add nothing to this card. I wouldn't add anything to this card. This card already seems strong as is. Yeah, completely fine. Well, yeah, um, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.